anyone has any follow-up questions, feel free to pop them in the chat and I'll respond to them during um, the rest of the call. Mm -hmm. um, but now um, let's go over to Kate and she's going to talk about using Tails Toolkit outside. Um, so over to you, Kate. Okay. Um, we've had a lot of people interested recently um, in how to really extend Tails Toolkit and how to use Tails Toolkit outside. And I think it's kind of making that difference to something that you would do inside and not just taking that exact same thing out into the garden, but thinking about how you can use the outdoors and the garden and the resources that you've got out there to create Tells Toolkit stories. So, yes, so Constantine just... message and she said um, she'd like to share some photos with the storytelling and play outdoors, especially that they use natural clay for the setting. And this gave them the opportunity to adjust it perfectly to the story. Um, and I just want to um, especially thank um, thank Constantina while she's um, maybe doing some typing if she can um, to, for sending us in things. And and for other people, if you do have any images of these yeah. kinds of things, you know, outdoor or not, you know, we, we appreciate any pictures and um, seeing how you're using things and um, to share those ideas with other people. Um, and we're hoping as we do more of these kind of sessions that that we'll get more contributions from from you guys and 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 mm -hmm. you know celebrating the, the work you're doing already oh yeah um, she's put she's put a daughter loves to play with clay and dough so she inspired me oh, and he is great nice question from emma here yeah so um wanting to know how to not break the moment by asking the children to record things um, um when you say that emma do you mean that you don't want to break the moments when you're listening to children so that you can record what they're saying um, no, it's sort of to try and encourage their their recording of stories and their mark making. Um, um, I worry that I'm I'm not leaving them long enough to do the role play or the the, the talking of stories before I'm sort of saying right, let's let's create the story on paper as well. Have you used the strips at all much? Not so much, no. So yeah, that's definitely something we can bring in. To, like you say, that that sort of fills that step in between. It's a stepping stone as well, isn't it, for for that journey brilliant thank you yeah yeah and often so, what you've mentioned those um so other questions we've had in the chat so um from wadge i hope i'm saying that correctly um how would tales toolkit work in year one so that they're still meeting their end of year targets um if you'd like to put your mic on and say a bit more about that then please feel free to well, i was wondering do you use like set texts and then still use the system or is the story just always like child initiated Mm -hmm. No, you can easily feed it in with stuff you're doing. So um, I would say one of the really important things to do yes, is to try. And yeah. we've also we've had quite a few people say how much they love um, the area that you've designed, and they'd yeah. like to please. Yeah, can you show us that a little bit more, Lisa, while you're on? Right, uh, I'll try. But you know, yeah. tonight I'm not having good. <laughs> Let's see. If I can twist the camera. Here we go. Let's have a look. So uh, I'll see if I can make you bigger so everyone can. Um... <laughs> okay there we go um hopefully, so hopefully that's useful yeah we've, we've got quite a few more questions in here 